Hey guys, it's Josh here. You may have seen some of my videos recently. Day 91 of only eating food from a Korean convenience store. Well, today I got something a little bit more special. We're going to spend the next 24 hours only eating food from a Korean convenience store. The great thing about this challenge is it's not going to be difficult. There are convenience stores on every corner of Seoul. There are four main convenience stores. GS, CU, E-Mart, and 7-Eleven. I'm making my way to a CU now. We're going to see what we can get for breakfast. Sweet potato latte. Let me grab a shin ramyeon. It's torted. It's like a new flavor we did. Pita 500. This is a passion fruit. I have no idea what this is. It seems like a strawberry and cream sandwich. Get that one. Who doesn't love a little bit of meat on a stick? This is a garlic spicy pig intestines. Honestly, it tastes better than it sounds. A little fruit cocktail is a nice way to start the day. Matcha tea cream bread. Let's get this peach flavored drink with little jelly bits inside. Got myself a nice little haul right here. I think this will set me up for a while. Pretty much bought everything that I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day. Gonna head back to mine now so I can eat all this food comfortably. I don't really want to spread out all this food over a table in the convenience store. So you guys are gonna get to see what my uh, my place looks like. Okay, let's start this off for breakfast today. We've got an iced cup. We've got our sweet potato latte. This is one I've actually never seen before. I'm excited to try it. And it fits perfectly like usual. Cheers. Oh my God, that is, that is incredible. That is so sweet. That is like condensed milk. I can taste like a little bit of potato, but it really just tastes like condensed milk. Honestly, I'm lost for words. Second breakfast item, we have a nice little fruit jelly. Mm. Mostly orange flavored, can't go wrong with that jello. Third item, we got this matcha tea cream bread. Let's see what the insides look like. Oh, so this is matcha cream. We got the bread and there's actually white chocolate down here. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, there's a lot of white chocolate. This is really more like a dessert. I don't think I picked very healthy items for, a, for a breakfast. Okay, it's lunchtime, and the first thing we've got is Shin Ramyeon. Toredu. New version of the Shin Ramyeon. I think it came out maybe a month or two ago. It's a little bit spicier with a few more packets of flavorings. This smells amazing. Shin ramyeon toredu, it should be more spicy than the original shin ramyeon. So let's give it a check. Mmm, so much flavor, so rich. Mm. Before I dig into that, let's open up this sausage. It's basically meat on a stick. I'm pretty sure it's pork, but Have definitely some kind of pork. There's a lot of flavor in it. Mm. Those work really well together. That was a great choice for lunch. If you can get this version of Shin Ramyeon, 100% worth it. Ita 500 passion fruit flavored. Eighty calories, really high in vitamin C. Tastes amazing. For dessert, we got these choco butter sticks. Never had these before, but they look pretty cool. Not really see it too well because of the lighting. That's solid. I'm gonna keep munching on those, and I'll get back to you with dinner. Okay, we're back. The first thing we're gonna be eating right now is this garlic spicy intestines. As strange as it sounds, I'm incredibly excited to try these. 